Video. Video. Audio. Audio. And we're back. <laughs> Chocolate blue. The, the homosexual Frenchman over in the corner. What? So. Explain. You haram. Is that the, <laughs> is that the new style? <laughs> what? What, this? Are you going to rock that forever? Are you French or French-Canadian? Uh, it's really... <laughs> really happiness mm. in the household? Uh, it's so far <laughs> from French. It's so far from French, and I don't know why you try to t- keep disrespecting me with this French thing. Because um, you're not in Congress yet, so therefore you aren't truly American and patriotic. Excuse me? I've bled for this country. What have you done? What have you done? I've bled have you on ever, this country. Have you ever been? <laughs> have you ever been in a helicopter crash simulation test? I don't fucking think so, dog. You ain't a patriot. You ain't done <laughs> that shit. Means nothing. Have you ever played Listen, a video game? I I've think not. Done. <laughs> it wasn't a video game. It was real life. They put you inside of this. It's got two arms on either side. And then it's got the it's body a of a, video a game fuck is. it. No, it's but it's got a body. It. It's all metal. It's a body frame of like a black hawk. But did you die? No. <laughs> Could have though. Listen. So then it no takes way. it takes this They're thing. They're not gonna put you in a machine. No, they got people with scuba diver people, and they. So You're what it does? So full of shit right now. Don't I'm even not continue. full of shit. This is what happens. Oh, it takes you. What happens? But you have never done it. I have done it. You've I did it when I was in delayed in entry program. Container. It was one of the no. things that they took us to do. We shot with Green Berets. We played no. paintball with Green Berets. We did this fucking and helicopter crash horribly. simulation. We've done grenade tosses. It was fucking awesome. I also got to shoot a 50 cal off of the back of a fucking Humvee. So suck my balls, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> Dude, Pixar yeah, didn't happen, bro. What? Pixar didn't happen. I want to see Chubby Zach I was in the a fat- submarine thing. Helicopter sim thing. Do you think they let you take pictures on military bases? You fucking haram asshole. Sounds like they took a bunch of little children. (laughs) Photos like, look at me. Yeah. We were in ROTC. We weren't just children. We were high school students. I need a trustworthy person who is there that I can ask, did this happen? I don't know anybody you know that would have been there with me since I was the only one. Name names. That was going to these delayed entry programs. Yeah, no one knew the their only names. One. They're, yeah, no they're all the weirdos. Full of shit. <laughs> Called out. We need a stinger. Called out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pics or did it happen? I want to so see. Tell us about this. How am I, I supposed see to have you pics? shooting a gun? Tell us about this situation you watched on the History Channel. Flipping a gun. I've seen the pic of you meeting the um, the drill sergeant dude, whatever his name is. Not he's not really a drill sergeant, oh, sergeant uh, but uh, Lee Emery. I've never met Arlie Army. I, th- I thought you met that guy. No, I've met Sergeant Major Zachary. I thought you had a photo of that motherfucker. I had Am his I photo, yes. I had his oh, photo had from his a photo. ship, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, I, thought- I did meet him because it w- he signed it. Yeah. So it was like, it was a quick boo thing, but I didn't okay. kick it with him or anything or oh, get okay. a picture of myself. Hey, with him. all right, see you. Mail call. I went, <laughs> hold up, I went and smoked the white with little white. Guess what? The only person who didn't take a picture in that entire fucking night, this guy. I'm not going to go to some famous person and be like every other person that looks at them and goes, Oh, let me get a fucking pic to prove I was We're here. We're not talking about famous people. We're talking about you in a helicopter simulation. It's a helicopter simulation crash, and they have an entire team were of you, divers. Were in it? Or yes. were they just demonstrating it for I'm gonna all I'm going to ask his mom, watch. because you know what? There would have oh, been, no. yeah, oh. been a She would have been like, you ain't going to this parental shit. Parental release. She would have ask her. Ask her. Ask her if Zach went to delayed entry program and ran with the Marine Corps at the Navy base multiple fucking times and went no, and I'm shot with the Green Berets. The and I want to hear the about the She wasn't there, but ask her. <laughs> pull, she wasn't there. Pull up the, they got to have a video of them I was using 17. a machine like that. Pull something I up. can show you the video of them doing it. Yeah, yes. let's see Let the video see he watched. This. Oh, my <laughs> now God. Now I'm trying to he did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, I was 17. I did this shit. You can eat my fucking asshole. That's why I'm saying I want to see it. Eat my asshole. Wind blow, I'm going to fucking strangle you. I just want to see it. Because this guy has never done anything in his life. He thinks that other people couldn't have done things. What have you done? No, I've got pigs in my shit. What? 
Let's see him. Literal pics of his shit. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Pics. Because of the shit that he shared, did nothing of. Look at this. <laughs> he's got the he's got he's working on the world record. <laughs> he showed me. It's gonna be another Sunday, bloody Sunday when I let that out. It looks like a actual Sunday machine, like a ice cream machine. <laughs> mm. Mm. Swirly. Swirly. <laughs> it won't flush. Oh fuck. All right. I want to see this. Look. I can't see this. Press press play. So the one that they have doesn't have arms. It has a thing in the center and it spins this way. Uh. Hold yeah, up. You hope for the best and train. Is this a goddamn ad? Hold up. No. Oh, man. Uh, Every time I get up on there to play any video to show anybody go. anything, it just instant ad. Well, that's because you don't pay for premium. We yeah, do. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck it. It's worth it, dude. <laughs> I think uh, maybe it is. Training for the worst okay. right here. Helicopter goes down. It's the best simulated uh, training we can get. I hear today Whoa. This shit isn't insane. Helicopter underwater egress training. Cool. They have people that are in scuba gear. They're watching you the entire time. The craziest Notice part's when it goes say upside Washington down. State. Most this one will, isn't. This is uh, Texas. I just grabbed the what first fucking video. You want me to go back and show you how many so goddamn videos they have? Because they have them in so many line. places. Hey, Zach, I just like to point out they had cameras in there. I'm just saying, dog. Hey, dog. This is a film crew. When I did it, it was 2006. This is a film crew, yeah. Thing thing two. They came I would have graduated in 2007. They let you, you do that, though. They cuck. dunked your ass upside down. Yes. And and they then you spin the machine and you bail out. Yes. You and mm. 17 other fucking panic. people, basically. Right. If you can get over the panic and get your skits right about it. It's not that bad. When you're out the the worst world, part's when you go upside down. It shoots straight into your nose you and it makes you want to breathe in. Don't yeah, you breathe out a little bit. Yeah, no you push out, that. hold that, and then as soon as you get orientated, you push yourself out. Working and they have the people NBL, pulling people out, so there's no way for you to fucking drown. In the same pool the astronauts are training in. Uh, in the pool right now, there are astronauts underwater right now training in the space. <laughs> Building spaceships and shit. So suck my fucking cock, you cuck motherfucker. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you and everything you're about. Still. Everything. We need a stinger for triggered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting my real hat on. <laughs> oh, no, shit. That's how serious this shit has gotten now. You don't think I've went to fucking paintball with Green Berets either, huh? <laughs> no, I believe you on that. <clears throat> I believe... You think I've been in a nuclear class sub? I know you Possibly, have. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. I just don't think that they would strap children. Yeah, you're younger, seven yeah. fucking teen. You're, you're allowed to join the Marine Corps. I had my parents sign the fucking. But you're allowed at seventeen yeah, with parent to permission to like, sign soon you as in. I'm 18. I went to the Marine Corps recruiting station. I signed up for delayed entry. What they do is run you through all the shit to get you prepared to go to MEPS, and then at MEPS they diagnose you all your shit. They do run all your fucking tests, everything you have to do. At that point, they say yay or nay, and you're either going into boot camp from there or you're not, and that's it. That's mm -hmm. the end of your shit. Hands washed to you. How do I know this? Been there. Done that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we understand that Wimplo has no sense brains, intelligence, <laughs> deduction reasoning skills, anything at all. So you cannot trust words that come out of his mouth because he's been trained wrong on purpose as a joke. And it has backfired. I've created a monster. <laughs> I hate created you. created a monster. <laughs> well, listen, if you got an ass, I'll kick it. Okay. It's a good thing I don't have one. Well, what do you get when you cross an ass and a bungee cord? What? And now <laughs> fuck that up. Fuck that up. <laughs> you get an owl. Yeah, you get an owl. <laughs> yeah, like, what? <laughs> but what do you Just get backwards. when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? Liza Minnelli? Incorrect. Mm. To hell with him. My ass.
His ass. <laughs> That's the correct answer. Any other answer is wrong. So, are uh, we are we ready? Is, he is looks like he's, time? he looks like he's ready for it. Do you want to do? Do you want to do the honors? Should we have a safety meeting? Correct. <laughs> and back. Thank you. Um, so you saw the stinger. The stinger is the stinger that stings. And it says... Stingy. The weed of the week, which is where we are now. Um, so we're going to try to change this up a little bit. What have you guys been smoking on this week? Myself? Yes, what have by yourself have you been smoking on? This week? <gasps> this week. What was the weed you smoked this week? Too many random names. I can't even this, name them. Oh, I'd have to wow. have the tubes. <sighs> You're crazy. But what I'm smoking right now, and this is the second one that we have smoked, is safety meeting. And this is always, always a great choice. Yes. So that's GLW's safety meeting. We had one earlier at his house when we were tearing out some floor, and it was chronic. It was actually really good. Yes, um, just yes, before yes. today's show, we smoked the gooey, and that me and Trevor is. had that one before, and the half that we had at your house sucked ass, yeah, but the half sucked. that we had that started out here was great, but at the yeah. ending half of his was like the starting half and full half of mine here. Yeah, so it fucking it's hit hard miss. after. Yeah. Like, this is shitty, and then wham, you're like, oh. Yeah, it was kind of hit and miss. Yeah. It kind of is like a shittier, less tasty version of gooey duck that's kind of the the, the flavor duck. profile it's trying to emulate 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 i've been getting these uh eight packs of Fireline. they're like 35 bucks for eight and it ends up being uh i think they're no i'm confused i'm conflicting it is eight uh so it's 35 bucks for eight but uh the annihilator strain is it's some potent shit man yeah, put your later. dick in the dirt. Yeah, it does what it says. I haven't been smoking anything except for like a pen this past week. That's why when he asked me, I, did, I couldn't even think about what I smoked other than just today. I've been smoking a pen. The pen I got from the wedding. So it was called the oh, nice. Who Hold gave up. you a pen? It was left in the little, they had like this little, that little trailer where the beer was and shit. And yeah, the drinks. so the alcohol station. There was a brand new vape pen right in there. Someone left it there, and he just took it, and now he's got AIDS. Yep, I got AIDS now, but that's okay. Mm. And then he forced it Everyone has for me AIDS. to smoke it. Now now I have AIDS. And AIDS, then I bled AIDS, 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 into AIDS. those jelly donuts, so and now lighters. you have AIDS. I have AIDS. He Here, definitely... This ain't the AIDS. This isn't the AIDS. This is the anti-AIDS. This is the cure. <laughs> this is the cure. <laughs> it is like a raspberry terp in there, so it's going to taste like... It tastes uh, like... Tastes like cleaner. It tastes like the... Like, yeah, it, it tastes like cleaner <laughs> smells. He was about to say something else until he fucking he was like, "Wait a I minute, I do need that's, a lighter. Yeah. That's that's on point exactly but what it is. It, is, it, is it tastes a, like when you're doing like fabric softener, raspberry yeah. Skywalker. Man, All raspberry Skywalkers taste like that. I wouldn't get those ever again. Yeah, um, no, that's that's lame. So, what is your your weed of the week? Is safety meeting. That's what we stopped to do as a safety a meeting. Yeah. Um, my weed of the week. Well, it was going to be gooey, but I changed my mind. Oh. Oh. I did bring another little donkey butter. Because that was amazing. It's a donkey dick with donkey butter. Little. It's a half a donkey dick. No, it's a donkey dick because it's bigger to be a horse dick. Nope. So, Donkeys are, they got the same fucking deal going on. <laughs> yeah, they got a third <laughs> motherfucking leg, or sorry, a fifth leg hanging there. So, I'm going to present GMO from Fat Panda. That's a, that's a good strain, usually. Fat, Fat, Fat Panda is pretty on point with the, all their shit. Yeah, the people this, around here, because they're a local company, so people on this side of the map fucking hate Fat Panda. Hate. Oh, I've no, gone I into a co-worker who used to work there. That's all he fucking talks about. Dude, but people that are, own shops here hate Fat Panda. So they must have not had good 
business like when they started yeah. yeah but most of them carry them and they're cheaper over here than they are even on the other side of the the map yeah well they got to they make it here yeah but i thought they had a farm over there too they because, might they might now but um i swear i But can you imagine to how hard it is to get a fucking oh dude permit and certi uh, certifications or whatever all the things that you need to I go through i don't have to the imagine it i lived just it. to be able to own and start <laughs> I, a business dude, all right I lived it. It's, well, growing would worse. be different. Growing would be because now you're dealing with like electricity around people and water, and like there's a lot more damages that can happen. So, I'd imagine it's pretty brutal getting started. I looked into it because I tried to open one. And that first was during off, the beginning. Yeah, and first off, it became like a liquor license, so you yeah, had to you be had to, like, put win into a, a lottery. High, yeah, and you had to go into a lottery. And that cost 15 grand just to do. And that was non refundable. Like, just to put your name in the fucking hat, you had to have 15 grand, basically. That was it. Fuck because that. you had to already have a building. You already like had that. to have a um, certain amount of like equity points on your account. And then you had to pay for the fucking to get your name put into the hat. I just got a fucking crack later. Insane. Yeah, that's all I could find this morning. This is the crack lighter. I've used it a time or two. You ain't doing crack again, are you? Them fucking crack lighters. <laughs> Talk fuck? about. Never stopped. Crack rocks for days. <laughs> I'll take them out of 12 foot crack blunts. Yo, you want some new shoes? Quitters never win. Get a lot of them. Some crack. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he ain't got no shoes. <laughs> Start selling crack and get a lot of them. <laughs> right here, motherfucker. <laughs> want some crack? <laughs> you want it? You want some crack? We need to pull some, some clips from that. Yeah. <laughs> right. I could do that. We'll still get copyright hit probably by people. We'll have to do small segments like that little segment there. And that little segment there. <laughs> And then pause, pause, pause. That segment right there. Yeah. But they'll be small and on the screen. Look for them. It's an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll see him immediately. Don't listen to Wimp. He knows nothing. Um. Anyway, so eventually I want to get some chairs for there. We need to get a new camera um, to do for you, on you guys. 200 bucks. Two hundred dollar. Two hundred bucks. Get an EOS M. And then we fucking put black magic lantern on it and then it becomes an eight bit eight K recording camera. There you go. Damn. Mm. Camera. Camera. Safety meeting. Mm, safe. I feel really safe now. This one's got kind of a weird flavor too. Yeah. It's got a good flavor actually. It's, it's very potent. It's good, but it's weird. Eh. Describe it to us. Why don't you why don't you describe it to us in grave detail? I want details. Deep. Deep Deep Tales. <laughs> Deep Tales. <laughs> it kind of reminds me when like when I exhale. It's like uh you ever eat yakisoba? No. What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yakisoba. It's uh, rice noodles. It's it's essentially a stir fry with rice noodles, kind of like chow mein. Only it's got a few better things in it, like cabbage and fucking chicken. Sounds like, like you're that. a cream it's, of something guy kind of guy. No, it's it's pretty good. But anyway, yeah, that's <laughs> what it kind of reminds me of. You do say it is pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Dream some guy is your favorite meal. Very interesting <clears throat> description. But there's also like on the inhale though, there's there's a flavor I can't put my finger on. Cock. And it's, <laughs> what? I have no idea what that tastes <laughs> like. Yes, you do. N no. Yes, you do. N no. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken, yeah. Rooster, cock. Yeah. No, you don't eat the rooster. <laughs> you eat the chicken. 
Well, I've eaten both, so. I know you've eaten a lot of cock in your day. <laughs> <laughs> I've also eaten sharks. I've eaten whales, dolphins. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dolphin-free tuna, not dolphin, you dumbass. <laughs> no, it's what some guy at the pier gave me. And he was like, this is fucking a dolphin fin. And I ate it. <laughs> Bullshit, dude. That one is that's a lie. That's a lie. That is a that straight is, up that lie. That is a straight up lie. <laughs> um, but Which brings Nick us to our new game. Some is he guy. full of shit? He thinks I'm full of shit about everything, but Nick is the one who lies the most. That's no, the craziest he used to thing. lie the most. He lies the most used to lie the lies most. the most he's like oh i got a graduation party graduation was a week ago <laughs> <laughs> oh well there mickey yeah. Like, yeah i know shit i didn't realize it <laughs> sounded <laughs> like mickey <Man. laughs> <laughs> i figured it would hit different if i did it in mickey voice <laughs> it fucking did it did it slapped <laughs> um anyway yeah liar you just want to sit on your fucking thumb I sp and spit. I, like Obi Wan, <laughs> speak in truths. Riddles? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not Obi Wan. He lied to fucking everybody. No, he gave him a version of the truth. <laughs> there are many versions of the truth. <laughs> no. no, there's one truth. I'm going to tell you my truth. Half truths. <laughs> Listen, you haven't shared my lived experiences, so you can't talk on this. I can't. You can't. I can't because can't. I'm better than you. you I have can't. blue hair. Go. Hair is blue. That's true. It is true. <laughs> Look at it in the light. It's kind of it's dark blue. Needs <laughs> <laughs> then some kind of blue. There's blue in there. Like a like a rock or drop. Something. <laughs> or black or something. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. What do you think? Are you? Is that the safety? Yes, this is the safety. safety. Oh, okay. This does have a little bit different profile than the one we had earlier. Same fucking brand. Same, same fucking strain flavor. and everything. Supposedly, no. same place. Well, probably what are we the same doing? Plant. GLW. Good luck with you. I don't know. What's GLW? That was close. Standpoint? He almost had that. Good luck, Wade. No, it's GLW. Okay. Good luck, White O. Good luck, White O. <laughs> <laughs> Stands for glow. White O. Glue. Smoke some glue. It's almost the same. Yeah, it's, uh, probably it's got a, a, taste. a plant or two down the road. It's got a little bit more bitterness than the other one had a little more skunk in it. Yeah. I do like skunk. The other one skunked the house out. It was good. That's what Zach was saying. Like split 50 50 down the middle of like skunky and bitter. What was and that? You this like one split was just your legs like 50 50 down the middle? This one was like 70 30 split skunky bitter. Or hmm. bitter skunky 70 30. I think I've ruined my palate because I put the wintergreen. You did. Oh yeah, no, no. wintergreen Winter flavor green? in my lip. Oh, dude, I, I didn't like, get it. I said, "Get me spearmint," and she's like, "All they had was this." So anything wintergreen these days? <laughs> not when, good. Uh, when I was in high school, Alex used to get me fucking like little half logs because his mom and dad would get like smokes and fucking some chew. like Kodiak. Yeah, Kodiak uh, wintergreen. Uh, um, the bottom of the barrel. Good. Dog shit chew. Good. Yeah, it was pretty gnarly. But I like it. So I'm skating one day in front of the auditorium and fucking I see the vice principal coming over and I'm like, I got a fat dip in right now. There's just like no way I'm gonna be able to spit it out or anything. So the only natural you know, natural solution to this is to gut it. So I fucking I do it and I at first, like, I just started pounding my chocolate milk, thinking I could settle it and it'd be good. I get to my next class after getting my skateboard taken away. Bullshit. Oh, no, it wasn't even my skateboard. That was the funny bullshit, part. Bullshit, call bullshit. It was someone else's Fucking skateboard. Bullshitter. But anyway, so here's the fucked off part. So bullshit. I end up throwing up, and I'm, I'm sick as fuck. I'm in my English class, and I'm fucking like, I gotta go. Why do so I not I remember decide, any of this? So I, I ask yeah, Alex about this. Never fucking happened. No, I asked Alex about this. So that little it's fucker, I had ride, I was riding my bike to school at the time, and they thought it'd be fucking hilarious to let the air out of my back tire. <laughs> so now I'm sick as oh, fuck, no. dude, and I gotta walk my bike all the way home 
from the high school to grandma's. Oh, I was fucking pissed. That uh, does sound like something we would do. I, I wrote it. Dude, anything wintergreen, I just fucking, it's everything I can do not to puke. Dude, wintergreen's awesome. No. You're fucking I like insane. Mint. I like skull apple. Mint. That was the Scapple best. Was pretty that good. was one of my faves. Peppermint. And spearmint. Oh. Are Spear good mint. mint are good. Uh, skull mint was what Winter I used Green to Wintergreen is like the black licorice. I can't of stand mints. skull though, dude. Like it's fucking. Disgusting. I can't believe right. I chewed I like that it. as a kid. I'd, it's like I'd, there's nothing there. I've chewed like, it all. I chewed grizzly over skull. Like fuck that. Grizzly, you know you got a dip in. Yeah, I like a bulls. I like grizzly straight though. You know what I like? Is chaw. Either natural or straight. I can't remember whatever fucking one. Fucking country doesn't chaw, taste like chaw chunk. Here. Country chaw chunk. Like the fucking big bag of chaw. chaw. Yeah. Like the shit that they puke up on Sam fucking, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like fucking yeah, red man. big ass fucking. Yeah. And you rip that. You ever that do red man bomb. and that yeah. fucking big league chew bubble gum combined? Yeah, not big yeah. league bubble gum chew. Yeah, you get the grape, you get the grape bubble gum, you do like a half and half of tobacco, a red man and bubble gum, and then you got this hey, gnarly fucking leave. tobacco wad that tastes like grape red man. <laughs> it's. That's disgusting, but the red man's good. You fucking put a big old dip of that fucking chaw on your shit. You can suck on it. Just big old fucking spit water. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get that. Huh? I took a drag off that, but I gotta hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gave it away too fast. I, I didn't even think about smoking and flavor. You almost walked away too fast, too. You like turned around. I was like, don't leave yet. Take this. You're going to want to. Well, I don't want to be super fucking stoned because I still have to drive at the end oh, of all this. Well, too late. That's kind of fucking... That skunk. This has got a good flavor. This is yeah. the best one. That's GMO, baby. Genetically modified optimism. I don't think that's what it stands for. What'd you put in this? Holy shit. It's got like a citrus to it. Why do you have that disgusting brick on your face? <clears throat> I'm tasting, bro. Deep, deep taste. My arms all getting all gimped out. I'm fucking stoned. I hate I hate when I forget that I have a body when I'm stoned. Like I'll get I'll get like all lost in thought and uh, I used to have a girlfriend whose dad spot. would make fun of me all the time because like I'd fall asleep on the, this short ass couch <laughs> in these just contorted fucking positions like I'd do this with my fingers like and stretch them out and fucking always getting made fun of for it but it's just I get stoned and I forget I have a body and then I I just get comfortable and. Once I'm comfortable, my mind just zones out, yeah. and then my body just chronic. does whatever it needs to do. Autopilot. That shit's fucking chronic. Yeah. It still has an afterbite of the same taste chronic. as when you take a hit. Yeah. It's good. That's because I changed my weed of the day. Thanks. You're welcome. That was for everyone because I love you. That's how comfortable I feel with you guys and the audience. He just how about you just got out there. some kind of shatter joint or something. Like, no, it's not shatter. It's a fucking GMO. Where is it? Nice. There's a case right here. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, all right. That was a <laughs> good toss. <laughs> <laughs> Big field. I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah. I tried to do it too cool. You know what I mean? I way, to way, too cool cool. way too cool. And I went way too You're cool. You're cool like that guy you just showed me today. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? Ron Paul Champagne or something like that? <laughs> Robert oh, <no>. Paul Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, have you? Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. That was my first response, too, and then I regretted it instantly. <sighs> okay. I want to regret this. <laughs> I regret this. Okay. I have no clue what you're talking I about. I want to on in. the right. Fill all right. All right. Hold oh, on. No, I got to set up a window capture for, for the peoples. They need to be able to see things. So let's see. In the meantime, let's dude, see. it's. 
All right. <laughs> See, I just can't even explain. All yeah, right, ladies bad. and gents. I have no clue. That's all I can do at all. You. Is it's bad. It's badong. Very badong. Oh shit. The complete opposite of Gnadab. Uh oh. How Robert. badong is it? Oh, champagne. <laughs> This is the man right here. Is I don't want to hear any disrespect <laughs> of fucking goddamn Robert Paul Champagne. Uh, Robert Paul Champagne. Champagne. Learn the name <laughs> and respect the game. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I'm scared. You better. This is like. You better, I, it hasn't even started. I'm just thinking of what I saw, and I'm already at that point of laughing that we get to where we touch our face. Are you ready? Like, that's how fucking <laughs> funny this is. All right, we'll be the judge of this. I'm going to be straight faced now. Black guys would love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at $23.95, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. <laughs> Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. Men from jail, homeless, <laughs> you know, you're a thug, you want to come. Move in. A friend can move with you too, man. Free rent. You get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss oh, my me. God. Me. Me out. This is my You want to come God. over today and try it out? Try it out, man. If you're in my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me? Try it out. So you're the fight only as fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. I want to do it. And I want to deliver it. I'm a hot, fuck, white trash. Come, dump. Let's fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> now, let me... Let me... Let me break down something for you. White trash kind of dumb. Come that was fucking terrible, dude. What the fuck did you just show me? I told you. How do you, you find this stuff? I told you. What are you doing up here in this fucking studio? So, that is a clip from your mom's house podcast. One of my favorite podcasts in the world. If I could ever become a guest on there. If we get to go and be a guest on there someday. Dog, we've made it. That's that's the end. I, I will okay. shoot all of us dead. <laughs> 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 that would be all right, great, co- great podcast, it's everybody. A, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Life will have, cannot get better from that point further, so I don't want you guys to have to, like, suffer that. You okay. know? Oh, interesting. <laughs> He's just like the Heaven's Gate guy, you know? <laughs> well, you made it. Don't. <laughs> so I can knock you out and you're done. All right, so... A little bit about Robert Paul Champagne. Champagne. Is, Mr. Champagne. <laughs> is, so this video was the first video that they found, right? Well, they started bringing Dr. Drew on, and Dr. Drew now does a, a show called Dr. Drew After Dark. <laughs> Correct? Right. Correct. Mm-hmm. And Dr. Drew was so fascinated by him that he went and visited him Probably fucked him too. He's he New York straight apartment. up dead. He's, no, he's like, damn, yet. that ad sounds good. It's right. first documentary. He, he bangs the <laughs> shit out of his wife constantly. They talk all about it. His wife comes on there and is like, yeah, he fucks me and my ass all the time. It's great. Like, Dr. Drew is a savage of a dude. Like, yeah, he's a savage. Okay. More than you would even understand. So, anyway, he goes <laughs> to New York. Like Mr. Champagne. Meets Robert Paul Champagne, goes into his house, has an interview with him, talks with him. Robert Paul Champagne gets kind of famous off of YMH because it's a big ass podcast, right? Mm-hmm. He opens an OnlyFans. Oh, fuck. people from the fucking community, the same people that go to, um, uh, again, Garth Brooks's <laughs> Instagram and destroy it. I'm one of those people, by the way. It's amazing. What? Where are the bodies, Garth? All because he sold light beer? No, not just that. Have you ever seen Garth Brooks on social media? No. Oh my God. He's a serial killer. <laughs> All right. What? I'm telling yeah, you. Where is this going? I, yeah. This man you? has so many bodies buried. Allegedly. Allegedly. There are so many. And so his Instagram, go to his Instagram right now. Go to Garth Books' Instagram and look in the comment section, and you'll see one of these many quotes. <laughs> What's up, jeans? Three strokes, or four strokes. Uh, where are the bodies? My family needs closure. 
show me where it spits don't be stingy um try it out <laughs> this guy what? these are all quotes from the podcast and all the people that watch the podcast we go to his garth brooks's page and we fill his entire comment section full of fucking quotes from ymh it's me. I can't see the freaking... It won't let me uh, see the quotes because I'm not logged in because I don't have Instagram. Well, that makes you well, a gay man, huh? Instant loser. I don't know. I don't even want to be looking at no car Brooks on my phone. Here, I'll do it. Sacrifice the computer. I'm the man. I'll do it. Do Search. it. Do it. Look, I already have it. It's the only thing I have. Look <laughs> <Search> at <laughs> <laughs> Books. Yeah, go follow me on Instagram at Lazy Photographer. I'm trying to get my YouTube thing going back again, but I've been so busy with this and getting the website up. Which, speaking of, dun, 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 dun. check out the website. <laughs> um, the website is lrgpodcast.com. That is now our website. You can go and listen to the show there. You can go and watch the latest episode Find drop on, on YouTube. You platform. can find us on any platform there if we have links to every fucking audio platform and video platform that we are on so you can go there if you want to see us somewhere specific an app that you like you can go there find the app that we're on that you like and listen to us there you can also sign up for the email thing and get whatever new stuff is going on we also got merch on there yes go get yourself a nice little mug a nice mug for your coffee or something like that It'll be good, I promise. Mm. Like a carbonated soda. Fresh. Anyway, you can also <laughs> send us videos of funny shit. Don't be like stupid and send us shit. Yeah, that's we'll, we're gonna go through it. But like, uh, if it will get us copyright struck or something like that, or just yeah, completely no banned and stuff, like no murders. I mean, you can send them. I'll watch them, but uh, <laughs> 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 but they won't make it onto the show. Yeah. <laughs> but you can send uh, the email and everything to get in contact with us and to send us the stuff that you want to send us. Audio, video, or an email is all right there on the website. That is lrgpodcast.com. Easy for you. Less letters for your fingers to type. We did it for you. So, much love. It would have been a now very, back to what? It would have been a very long name to type yeah, long the whole thing love. out. Holy shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so fucking long. So, we, we, we went with the abbreviation. All right, back to the show. And uh, then, so we were at the Garth Brooks thing. Yep. To them, it's the same thing. We were, we were that was just a small segment. I'm not even going to cut. Anyway, um, so <laughs> uh, it says, I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Find what comp. What? Intermission. So there's boycott Garth Brooks. Why is um, he? We up out of here. <laughs> that is, that is. So why is he... Look at this man's face. Look at him. Does he not look like he has bodies? Look at the fucking... <laughs> that's look that's at the only reason why. Look at that face. Look at, the, look at his eyes. Look at these pictures and shit that he does in these videos. Look at this shit. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Maybe he's a fucking lizard people. Dude, he, he's like a person that tries to be a person. <clears throat> That's like what a people person? That, yeah, or a fucking psychopathic serial killer that has no n no feelings and just looks at other people. He does a video about Ukraine. Here, hold up. Hold up. We're going to play oh, this weird. video again. Why he didn't get his copywritten. Watch. Fuck him. Watch. We're going to play this. Everybody, Garth oh! Brooks here just want to say hey. <laughs> God damn. damn. <laughs> That was loud. That's Garth uh, Brooks. So, holy you shit. You would think this guy is a fucking professional. He should have his audio all balanced out. You'd think. Hey, to all the great people that tune in, something big is coming June 15th. If you squash all that down, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Listen to that. Tell me that that dude doesn't It sounds like pretty that. eerie, but. Dude, listen. Do people talk like that? Do normal human beings no, but talk like that? The fucking mm, he does a thing do. about Ukraine with his wife. And he's like, 
He laughs in the middle of it. He's got like a he fancy up, looking weird logo and shit too. Yeah. He laughs straight up in the middle of it. He calls his studio Studio G. So YMH started calling their studio Studio Jeans. <laughs> nice. Because they call each other Jeans, right? What's up, Mommy Jeans? Okay. Mm-hmm. Two parts, one pant, you know? Jeans. No. Oh, but well, yes. They're yes. a couple. Okay. They're a married couple, so it's like okay. two They're parts. sewn together. Yes. Yeah, it's like fucking jeans. Anyway, one leg, it goes even other. back further than that. There's so much lore attached to this fucking podcast. It's the most beautiful thing, and I've been listening to it for years. I love it, and I've paid enormous sums of money to watch their live streams, which would you say you could not handle. 5000 No. Less than that. I don't think they've oh. had even five thousand dollars worth like of podcast for one individual to buy for live streams. It would be like seventy, eighty bucks now. Cause there's been like seven or eight oh. live streams at ten bucks a pop. That's enormous. Yeah. And they get millions of viewers at ten bucks a pop. So tell me how much money that is. Millions. Lots and lots. Millions. Multiple times. millions. Ten. Yeah. Ten Tens million? of millions. Yes. You, you, you dropped your phone. phone and stuff, mate. Um, so, dirty, dirty they're phone. live shows. People tweet how long it takes before their partner, the person that can't handle it, takes to throw up. They just turn it on, don't give them any warning of what it's about to be. And even people that know the show can only last five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes into the heavy segment. I can say that I've lasted every heavy segment from the jump. You ain't done good enough yet, Tom. This is a challenge. Clip that. Send it straight to him. The I next heavy segment's going to be <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> the heavy segments are insane. I mean, stuff that you could not handle make me puke if you're so great dude i can i will rent <laughs> one puke. i will fucking rent one right now and take you straight to someone popping a sis out of their pussy and then eating the juice off of their fries that's pretty gross <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty nasty that's pretty sick that's basic bitch shit <laughs> <laughs> that's Have I showed you Christ. <laughs> Yeah, that's just the start he is of some in here shit. just looking up some weird ass shit. Right. Dude, I watch all kinds of crazy shit because it entertains do. me. That's bad. <laughs> Dude, you need a girlfriend. Like ASAP. <laughs> Even when I had a girlfriend. That's why they I was left. like, hey, yeah, bitch. No shit. <laughs> like, hey, bitch, watch this girl shit on some McDonald's and eat it. <laughs> they walk into the room. Holy and, fuck. Hey, yo, is that. Uh, 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 I ain't nope. doing this shit. <laughs> they come in Fuck and go. This shit. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. My God. What are you doing? <laughs> what is that guy? Fuck. I'm like. And then he starts puking because I just puke all over everywhere. You no. give up on life, didn't you, you fucking bum? <laughs> Dude, it's the fun. If you don't have that sense of humor, you don't have that sense of humor. But I have. That sense of humor. Do you not have the sense of humor that if you saw someone's fucking nutsack and scrub them get peeled you back, that you'd laugh that your humor. ass off? And I don't now, know if you define that as be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See, my immediate thought is, <laughs> no. The woe comes uh. so quick that it fades away just as fast, Mine would and just then be it goes into laughter. At, like, Holy fuck. Yeah, so yeah. you go into shock. I can, I don't. I go into laughter. I go, damn, this needs to be funny or else it's terrible. <laughs> or else it's a tragedy. <laughs> it's so tragic. It's, it's, tragedy. it's hilarious. Morbid segue. <laughs> My God.
Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that was a more of a segue. Um, I'm sorry. So. <laughs> God, I saw I a rainbow on the way you. over. <laughs> <laughs> was there so, just so, one? No, this, this is a legitimate question. Do you think it was A, in the sky, or B, on a flag? Flag. I'm just going to fucking answer the question. It's on a flag. A rainbow on the way here? Yeah. Oh, definitely on a flag. <laughs> it was all the flags. Was and not. in the sky. There was a small little rainbow as I was driving over. You're a liar. It was following him. (laughs) (laughs) After me, Lucky Charms. (laughs) All right. Shit. He's lying. I have a real serious question. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I need you to debate this down. All right. Oh, I'm a master debater. (laughs) Good. Because you're going to need to be. Okay. If you could. Chuck. (laughs) (laughs) It was too funny in my head. (laughs) If you could, Chuck, would, would you Chuck the wood or would Chuck would Chuck if you could Chuck would? Correct. That was what was in my mind, but it was too damn funny in my head. Yeah. Fuck my cock. <laughs> God damn. This GMO's got him all fucked up. <laughs> all right. Uh, I've been bogarting the joint. I'm sorry. Shock value reached. It's short... over 9,000. <laughs> Shock value is funny. So, week two into married life. Week one. Week one into married one life. One and a half. Ish. One and a half. One and a half. How's one. it going? One. Good. Good. Yeah. That's great. So far, so good. Just worried about getting this fucking stupid ass house together. That's about it. Yes. Yes, getting houses together is always in order. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, we just tore up more floor. So much. So, yeah, I heard. A lot of floor. <laughs> that, that, whole, that whole drop down section. I just tore it all up. Yeah. All the way. To the red we door. Plumb, we got to get to like we the plumbing and shit. I'm going to add a toilet in that room. So I was like, mirror are already halfway done with what we already tore up. Might as well fucking finish it. We opened up the red door. Ooh, well, there's fucking, the red door. We're going to make the access to the red to door. To the basement, the red door itself. That's how you're going to get down there. And just close and off seal the up access the stairs. right now. Seal off the top of the green stairs. There. And then what you're just going to. Like, put some vapor barrier down and then use it as storage. Don't you ask questions you want answers to. You understand? Well, no, eventually I'm going to, like, frame off areas and just make a huge dry... I was talking to that ghost that just clicked the picture. And then go and get some Patriot Supply shit. Patriot Supply. Some That's 20, how we survive. Please Food give rations. us a sponsorship. We will sell that shit because we believe in it. Yeah, if I could yeah. buy, if I could afford some of the tubs they have, I would have stacks. Same. Yeah. I would eat it every day, honestly. Because the good ones are like probably, 500 bucks. It's probably or just like an easy, healthy meal. Shit. Right. You know what I mean? I would be so much thinner. If I had that to eat every day, I would only eat it like once a day, and it would be a healthy, well-balanced diet hmm. full of asparagus and things. Just That's add right. water. Asparagus. That's right. <laughs> asparagus in a pack. Asparagus. It makes your pee-pee smell. Yes, it really does. It's just cleaning out. Especially in hot weather. You ever had a fucking Hot thing of asparagus, asparagus and it's 87 degrees outside and Try you're just walking out to go piss in a field and people beer, a mile away smell it? Oh my God. And taking a piss. That's the worst. You can melt the toilet with it that. It kills grass. It's like yeah. an instant killer. Yeah. It'll you can write kill your name small. in the grass and tomorrow, the next, like the next day, after the sun's hit it, it'll just cook your name into the grass. Yeah. That's <laughs> because it's pure <laughs> fucking... Biohazard. I'm gonna acid. do that. I'm gonna go piss a fucking swastika in your yard. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, and then I'll piss. Wimplo did it. 
and your Wayne address was here. <laughs> and then I'll piss. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually your whole yard will just be piss. <laughs> Dude, I used to live at a place that had like twenty five cats at one point. Jesus Christ, <laughs> dude, it's it stank. Sick. It was yeah. nasty, dude. You were, cannot not have a smell with no. that many cats. No, There's no fucking dude. way. <laughs> There's no way. Three cats is like max, bro. Dude, it's damn near close to what death smells like after like a day Pure. or two of decomposition. Not good. That's yeah. what 48 cat smells like. Especially if you don't clean out the shitter boxes and they're just dumping all over the shits. Just everywhere. Corners, <laughs> sides, I walls. Bought, just for one cat, I would buy this thing that was like meant for three cats. These fucking little rocks that looks like you put in like a yeah, fish. Yeah, these little fucking, fucking thing. But oh, yeah. Cleaning crystals. Like, litter, yeah, yeah, little crystals or whatever. But it's cat litter. Hey, and it was meant for three adult cats, and I got cats it for that one devil. tiny cat. They're the devil's you playground. You can never smell it. it was a, yeah. I was like, damn, they it's expensive, but it's meant worth for it. human. Uh, they're meant for outside friendship. They're meant for human consumption, and cats? that's what I think what? of that. Yes, sir. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I'm all for eating pussy, but dogs. Are man's best friend. Cats are the devil's friend. <laughs> That's facts. Yeah. 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 You know, some cats are pretty fucking badass. So they're little angels. Go up to any but cat. Ninety-eight percent of them do are, this now. Yeah, will my kill cat. You. My yeah. cat's a little fucker. Yeah. No. Do this. <laughs> Go up to your cat. Fucker. Pet it. Yeah, my cat says one pet. Pet it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my my. Let's. I can fucking pick him up, pet him. I can pet him on yeah, the ground. No. Fucking. My, my I'm cat the only chose my dad. Up. Only my yeah. dad can do no. that to my cat. <laughs> so that's how my. That's why it's not his. So I guess I can't even say it's my. Tell cat. any other one. Okay, now go to your dog, and tell me how many people can fucking pet that guy. Everybody. Mm -hmm. You know why? If Man's best him. friend. Cat. It's like no, I like one person in here. And it probably ain't the person that owns me. So, I'm just going <laughs> to fucking claw up every other motherfucker that I see. <laughs> I'm going to bat them around. I'm going to whine at them. I'm going to make noises for no goddamn reason. I'm going to jump up on the countertops and shit in your cereal bowl. It's all bad. You don't need that kind of devil worship like in your you house. Past bad experience. No. Uh, I mean, I have, yes. With cats. Cats are the devil. I will never own a cat again unless it is 75 pounds and wears a red sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> and it cannot hop, chop, scop, flip flop, Wait, do any other sweatshirt? cat shit. What? Yeah, like anger management kitty. That cat's cool. He just chills around, does nothing because he's fat as fuck. <gasps> That's the kind of cat I need. Hmm. That's How the only kind of cat that I would dog. accept. You need, you need a tiny little buddy. I don't need a tiny dog. I need a mid-sized dog. No, you need another Gus. No. <laughs> a little yappy fucker. You need fucker. like a... Like Just a, like you. All a yap. Medium. You need a schmedium dog. <laughs> yeah, I want Get one of those... Dog. I want no, one of those, those ones worthless. that has like the short legs, but he's like like a uh, short the Doge. Meal. Oh, oh uh, um, um, what are they Yeah, called? like the Doge. Kinda. I know what you're talking about. What the like fuck Like a Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu? Is yeah. that what it is? Like the Shiba Inu type dog. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like about. this big and it's got small Corky. legs, but like a big size body. Corky. Yeah. Kind right? of. It's like a big fucking, I don't know. I don't know what corgi. it's called. Corgi. Corgi. Sorry. I'm dumb. Yeah. It's a corgi. You want a corgi? They got, yeah, they're fluffy <laughs> and tiny legs. <laughs> and, and if you get them, the groomed, ones with the small legs are the ones that run the fastest, though. Yeah, dude, corgi. they're fucking good That's dogs. That's what I want. They're corgi. Very, they're smart Correct. dogs. I want a corgi. Yes. There's also dogs that are like a corgi that, okay, I went into the gas station the other day. I'm glad you said something because this brought this back. Think of your dog with corgi legs. <laughs> that poor motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, right. 
I walked into a gas station and there is straight up a fucking. It was a midget Malamute. It was a midget Malamute, dude. It had the smallest little legs, and it was a fuck it. The whole upper half was your dog. That's a big dog with the tiniest fucking legs you've <laughs> oh ever seen, God. dude. I was like, "What is this? Fucking I've never seen this." <laughs> it's just, holy shit! It's it was adorable. It's Barrett all bagged out. Yeah. It was hilarious. Dude, it yeah. was an adorable dog. He was sweet, too. It was so sweet. He was just walking around by himself inside of the store with the owner. Damn. And just came up and yeah. started licking me. I I'd be nice, like, too. What are really you? Short legs. And I was like, what the fuck are you? You look like my cousin's dog with your legs chopped at the knees. <laughs> like, if you chopped your le- dog's legs at the knees and put his paws there, <laughs> <laughs> that's how big this dog was. <laughs> but the full size, like, length of the body. That's weird. It was insane. I was like, I don't know what you are. You look like a science experiment. I had to ask the guy. I'm like, what the fuck are you? And I don't remember what he said. He said it to me, but he was like in a drunken stupor, like mumble. I was like, I don't understand that, but I'm not going to continue talking to you. I'm going I'm to let it go from here. Oh, you know, cool. Dogs usually take after their owners, so. That's why this dog was so nice. That's why I got a really dumb, but also smart dog. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know Listens why. What that, he needs to. That reminds me of fucking a clip of uh, Kung Fu Hustle showed up on my phone earlier. It was that scene where he's like, I'm, I'll take anyone on here. And fucking the old lady steps up and fucking punches him and fucking just plays like, what do you do for a living? And she's like, I'm the fucking baker fucking something heavy lifting and shit and he's like oh that's cheating no so then he fucking <laughs> finds a short guy and he's like i'll take you on and dude stands up six foot four or some shit uh, <laughs> what did i, I say about that. cheating you haven't seen kung fu no. hustle no oh my Holy god dude, that movie is fucking hilarious i only, yeah, know. <laughs> I only know the kung pao Kung Fu Hustles was fucking hilarious, too. Um, the Axe Gang. Yeah. I'll check it out. You should. It's fucking funny. Um, so, Corgis. Yes. A puppy can go from around 800 to $1,500. Jesus. That's... Papered. That's yeah. like... No, if it's papered that. and you get a breed, like, paper breed... That's the higher end price. 1500 to four thousand dollars a pup. Jesus. Damn. Not a cheap dog. Yeah, hopefully my dog wasn't cheap though. though. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna steal one. I don't know. If we <laughs> we paid either five hundred or eight hundred bucks for Barrett. I wouldn't pay that much for any animal. I wouldn't either. The animal comes to me, it's mine. <laughs> my dog my dog is one third wolf. Yeah. It's That's the closest thing I can so have to owning big. a wolf right now. It's All other ever. dogs are five thirds wolf. No, they're all beyond bastardized. Yeah, five thirds. No. Yes. <laughs> you come up with random fractions that make no sense. <laughs> right. Five thirds. You mean three fifths? <laughs> no, five thirds. <laughs> <laughs> five. Thirds, yeah. So one third, two, fourteen third. and five thirds. What is that as a whole? It's the way to Hogwarts. What's the whole fraction? I'm. I can't think of it right now. You need to know this thing. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm a dummy. Why you ask questions like this? Vote for me for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. I, I will hire fraction. the best Damn people it. to do these things. This is why we need your brother in here. Well, we, I, I was spacing out, to be honest with you. What were you talking about? I need a tape measure. For what? Five thirds. Of what? Five thirds would be... That'd be one and what? Two thirds. Reduced down. One whole and two thirds left over. Yes, okay. So uh, what? It was... For whatever the hell you're talking about, you got me. All, I'm all zoning out now too. <laughs> you so bitch. All I know is Zach's wrong. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Oh, that was the other funny part. Was he? We had a flat. Oh, uh, of the amount of dog. There we go. Oh, okay. 
of the amount of wolf in a dog nowadays. Ah. That's what he's looking up right now, hopefully. Oh, okay. He said five thirds. And I said, that makes no sense. But then it kind of does. No, because Only as a whole one fraction. and two thirds. Yeah, that's would be a, the correct answer. No, like a whole. But that's still a hole. That's still an entire and, hole. And, and, and more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was going to think of that. Yeah. Like, I was going to think of that. I'm high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm on track now. All right. How bastardized is a corgi so from a me, wolf? It's telling me chromosomes over here, boys. <laughs> how bastardized yeah. is a corgi from how a wolf? How many fucking chromosomes do you how think? How many layers? Uh, how many down? base pairs do you think a uh, make a dog? Base How many base pairs? pairs makes a human? I'll tell you that real quick, what, and then you guess. Are you just trying to figure out how far removed a corgi is from a wolf? Yes. yes. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out, and he's making it all sorts of hard and crazy <laughs> over here. Give me the chromosomes, bitch. No. What? I, I asked. Uh, oh, it has corgi in it still. That's why. <laughs> See, I don't know what you're doing now. What is he doing? See, you'll never make it. Ever. Make it. Okay, so a human has 23 chromosomes, right? What? That's not what we're talking about, dude. What? Yeah, but no, I'm asking you this. A human has 23 chromosomes. How many chromosomes do you think a dog has? Ooh. Give me a hint. More or less? More. It has more. Hmm. Interesting. Probably not much more. Maybe, maybe double, but no, that'd be a lot. I don't know. I, I can't answer that. A couple more. What's the question? A few more. So, human has... Wait, what's the question? 23. Human has 23 chromosomes. And a dog has... Mm, how many? 43. Close. How many does a corgi have? How many does a dog have? A dog. Canine. I was close, mm. so I should hint you. Yeah. Think hard and, and long. humans have 23, and I also told them it's above human, so. I said 43. 43. Um, so it's like 46. 52. Incorrect. 39. Damn. Okay. And then. That's it. So how far along, <laughs> how far away from the branch or from the from the they tree. They're 98.8% the same. It says it right fucking here. It's it's a bunch of bullshit. That's not what I'm looking for. How many things What do you mean? Had to fuck <laughs> to eventually get down to that and create that thing. How well, did, that, made, get, how did made, that come from a wolf? Like a teacup poodle and shit? It takes only like three generations. How long does a dog live? In what? the breeds that you're breeding. Did you know that you can make a liger? A, yes. Did you know you could also make a zebra, uh, a buffalo, buff zebra? What? A buffalo and a zebra. You can make them fuck and have a fucking weird genetic offspring they used to sell it as meat in the fucking stores back in the 70s but nobody ate it you so. know that's how like a mule is made yes a horse and a donkey horse and a donkey Make i can't a mule. find the answer to and this mule. question i just I'm, told you it's not they're 98 percent the same that's just dogs that's to wolves I mean. no. trevor's trying to say how far has the dog genome of cor of corgi differed from uh no, Wolf. not just Corgi. He's asking dogs in How general. How many branches are different? Did it take to get to such a tiny thing so yeah. far away from the wolf? It, it really isn't, though. It's only 2% removed. Yeah. I don't know. In genetics, it doesn't take much in genetics. It's a 2% different. difference. Mm. You and a banana only have what? like 1.8% difference between you and a banana. Yeah. I get that, but but what created that? A wolf. <laughs> How he, did it get from he, the wolf to that? Like he By said, by fucking other wolves. And then it had to fuck 
another then, dog. Yeah, but so then they get like, okay, then what they find one that's a dog? runt, right? They find runts of the litter, and then they make those runts fuck. Then they keep doing that with the runts until they get a smaller dog. So if you what want you're a saying fucking, is they take the dirt to durs of the litter and go and make more dirt to dur, and then that turns to Durka. And then Durka Durka. Um, how would you have? <laughs> yes. I mean, you got it. That's okay. exactly all it. Right, all right. <laughs> but I'll look up how many branches uh, away like is the wolf and the dog. I just tried looking it up, but it's... Oh, if you're not looking for Corgi specifically, it might be a little easier, but... Because my dog, his mother, is half Malamute, half wolf. I think Timberwolf. And then his father is Siberian Husky. If that's, it was just that's an an Timberwolf, he'd be huge. Dude. Right? If he didn't have that Siberian in him, he would be at least 20 more pounds heavier. Just a big fucking dog. His head is already massive. <laughs> <laughs> I got a giant dog. Dude, I, I never realized how big in. my dog is until I see like a normal sized dog. And I'm like, oh. I got a big dog. <laughs> I had to cut a 32-inch fucking door open on his doghouse so he could walk <laughs> through it <laughs> all comfortably. <laughs> this dude so I'm seeing up. the thing that says that dogs are not a domesticated wolf. Hmm. This guy pulled up to buy a, a part. I forgot what I was selling. I was selling some kind of car part. This dude pulled up to the fence and he looked at the doghouse. He's like, damn. It's one hell of a doghouse you got going on. It's <laughs> just a giant fucking door. I'm like, yeah, yeah, working on it. Got a big ass dog. And Bear spoiled. wasn't there like... <laughs> he came around the corner later and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why there's a sign up there that says, beware okay, of dog. So, uh, yeah, supposedly, 43 million years ago, uh, there was a split in the cats and the dogs, like the canids and the uh, cats speciate and separate into multiple different types of dogs and one type that was a wolfish like type of dog there are two that they think of that most dogs genealogy go back to the kind that we domesticated but the rest are pretty much extinct we've bred them out through breeding and shit like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then there mm -hmm. are wolves which we have bred also interbreeding so with dogs be, they used to be really Really big doggies, right? Yes. There still the are some really big dogs, like really, oh, yeah, like really great big Dane. bear size even dogs. Deer, they're even bigger. There's some dogs that are the size of fucking horses. If you, yeah, you, you can get some dogs that are huge. Yeah, like Clifford the big they probably red don't dog live long. status. No, probably live like maybe five years if right. they're lucky. Yeah, with like the proper perfect maintenance and straight, fucking food and solid diet and all grub. that shit. Yeah. They usually get, like, bone diseases and stuff like that, and their joints give out. Same with most big dogs now. That's a lot mm. of the big issue with bigger dogs is their hips give out and stuff like that. And they're not, uh... We've bred their design so weird that they, you know, some of them fucking How, their what's brain a, grows bigger than their what's skull What's the word does. on the fucking woolly mammoth? They're bringing it back. What? What's the word on it? What's, you didn't what see that? What, how? What's the latest? Let me bring. We it need up. to look this up. It's been a long. It's been a while because I know that they started this right. shit. There's a lot of other crushing uh, news. By 2027, according to Popular Happening Mechanics, right now. this from January of this year it says it'll make its return from extinction by 2027, according Damn. to Colossal. A biotech company actively working to reincarnate the ancient beast. Damn. Dude, there was literally a set, a set of Mammothus movies. Mammoth this. <laughs> there was literally a, 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 a more than a trilogy of movies. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure one just came out like a year ago. Right. Like, of why this is such a horrible idea. <laughs> why you shouldn't bring things back from the dinosaur age. Um, <laughs> right? Well, not only... Okay, so here's some things. That's First all of it all, gave us did, information hu on. Humanity... You be quiet. Humanity kind of... Someone's going to want to eat one. Yeah, that's true. 
But humanity did live. You want to know form something of humanity fucked up? Fucking lived with woolly mammoths in the past. Like they know that. Like some kind of. Uh, yeah, we uh-huh. ate the shit out of them. Yeah, when we did. Hungry, we hunted yes. them extinct. So, that's okay, but here's the thing. They're not using full DNA from that. They have to sequence the DNA with something, something else, that yeah. can Similar. actually produce it. Yeah, so, water buffalo which is or something. Be, I think it's an some elephant. elephant of some sort, yeah. Yeah, so... It'll be you're not, you, it's, it's not, be yeah, it's not pure woolly it's mammoth, and therefore you don't know what the outcome of this is going to be. Yeah, it's going to eat people. It would be funny as fuck if it came out to be like just, just a little raging. fucking mini horse size fucking <laughs> woolly <laughs> mammoth, the pocket size woolly mammoth. Here's just the a thing, mini though. mammoth, little Here, tiny tusks and all. Here's the thing: <laughs> is the scaffolding that they're using from that elephant's going to be the closest DNA relative to the woolly mammoth? So it's going to be damn near the same thing. But you want to know? It's something. a ninety-nine point six percent match of the Asian elephant. Yeah. Damn. So here, listen to this. A guy that has found Willie Mammoths flash frozen mm-hmm, mm-hmm. says he's eaten the meat. And that almost every person that goes Willie Mammoth hunting, it's kind of like eating Did the he head really off of just a say fish. Willie Mammoth? <laughs> yeah. Willie Mammoth, huh? Isn't that what we're talking about? Woolly Mammoth? Willie Mammoth. Wool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Willie Mammoth. <laughs> His name's Willie. God damn it! You okay, fucking Mr. Willie Mammoth. Okay, yeah. He ate Mr. Willie. So he ate Mr. Willie Mammoth. <laughs> he found Mr. Why Willie, would you eat Willie in the fucking cave, flash frozen, and they had meat like, on it still. So they it. ate the meat. I'm like, why would you do that? You and don't know what's in there. Many people have done it. You would have had to cook it to make it safe. They didn't. I don't Bullshit. believe it then. Well, they said they just did it. Oh, they said, were you there? Who's they? I'm just going off of what the dude said. I'm not what saying dude? it's the fucking dude? fact. The guy was on Joe Rogan. Lies. He finds Willie Mammoths is in his backyard. What's his name? I want to listen to this podcast. I'll have I don't to. Know I want to hear about the, the actually, Willie. I, yeah, no, this might actually be something. I do kind of remember they something about that. They fucking ate it? Why would they fucking eat it? Uh, no, not the eating. I don't remember that part. I remember someone talking about having shit. About the cloning on Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah. But the eating it. There's no way. I do not buy it. I do not believe this. These are lies. He's probably talking about some other kind of exotic meat that he was eating and it wasn't woolly mammoth. Yes. And I win the I win the chili cook off every year. Ooh. You throw a little mammoth meat in that chili. Have you ever mm. eaten mammoth, mammoth meat? Oh yeah. What? Yep. You ate it? Yeah. What? How old was it? What? We didn't carbon date it, but it's got to be at least 12,000 years old. Cause so what... you found physical tissue, like muscle and tissue, and you cooked it? I have a friend up there that found a bison. Blue babe is what it's called. You probably find it someplace. They got killed by a lion. It's a one of the main displays at the University of Alaska Museum. And when he discovered it, he got a hold of the museum... He was using giants like I use, and this was... There is it right there. Yeah, it's Dale Guthrie. <clears throat> wow. So the whole thing was frozen solid. Yeah. So it's got the... We're looking at this image. Damn. It's got the tissue on it. It's got How all the skin. How am I always yep. fucking right? He fucking ate Just it. Just saying. Just saying. Always fucking right. Why would you eat it? I'm always right. I'm always right. You're always wrong I found all a the time. Frozen it's two time. versus one, and I'm it's all, a buffalo. It's a wool. It's a. It's called blue buff. It's the woolly mammoth. You guys cut a chunk off that and threw it in the Traeger? Not off that one. <laughs> but that when one, he found it. He got a hold of it. Dude, this museum. is perfectly say, I, have, I have something hmm? coming out of the muck here. You might, guys might want. I said, yeah. It's oh, called he No Gold up. Creek. It was perfectly it was timed. He fucked with it. All right, touche, honky. I'm always right. Mm. You'd think that they'd like want to completely preserve it. And he said, I did eat it, but not off of that one. The picture. Yeah. Which was a buffalo. But was yeah, it the woolly mammoth? So, I don't know. Bro, they I'm thinking like boy. Ice Age looking motherfucker woolly mammoth. Yeah. Right. That is not. At least 12,000 years ago, boy. 12,000 year old steak. 
Yeah, but he didn't eat it raw. He fucking cooked that shit in chili. <laughs> raw. Don't count. That's raw, dog. 12,000 year old chili. That's you rock dog in chili with a fucking 12,000 year old piece of meat. That's raw, dog. That's you raw, don't even dog. Know what are talking about? He didn't fucking put a condom on it before he fucked that chili with it, did he? <laughs> <laughs> he raw dog that chili, dog. <laughs> Why are you thinking about putting dick in that chili? Huh? I said he put that meat in the chili with that gun. That would be raw dog in the chili. Jesus Christ. How do you not understand the fucking... The setup, the punchline, and the joke part? You're a fucking because idiot. Because none of the three exist. They all... They it does not don't. make just, sense. It it randomly does, talk Just because you put those shades sense. on doesn't make you cool. <laughs> Your future ain't that bright, homie. It's the brightest you've ever seen. <laughs> Fuck. Here's the Chewbacca. deal. <laughs> now he's serious. There we go. Here's a fucking deal. When I said he jammed that meat <laughs> into the fucking chili pot, and it was raw talking that chili. Jesus Christ. I think I get it now, you sick fuck. Oh, wow. It should not be chilly there. That's raw. <laughs> that's raw. <laughs> yeah, that's raw sewage. That was my point, and it's been made, and it's been fucking said and beat like a dead weather man 12,000 years ago. <laughs> you beat your willy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Good touching your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Told you about playing with that. It never feels like it's in the right spot. Well, you're just over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it feels wrong. Because you uh, keep touching it and nothing's happening. What do you mean? <laughs> just, just, I don't wait. touch it. <laughs> just waiting for it to shoot. <laughs> yes, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Shannon. Here's what? your bus fare. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Uh, shit, dude. South Park's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am oh, recluse shit. now. You cannot see me. You cannot harm me. You cannot. You cannot touch me. Why? Are, I am invisible. Where did he go? I am a. I am. And camouflage. This reminds me of a movie. And the little child. Big Daddy. Adam Sandler, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're invisible or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, man. Julian. Julian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The shades. The oh, shades. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um, so this is towards the end of the show. But we are going to introduce a new segment right now. And it's going to be in the beginning of the show, more towards the beginning of the show. But we're introduced in it at the end. Of this one. But it's going to be more towards the beginning of the show, next show. But today it's at the end. Yes. To introduce it. To introduce it. Yes. So people stay to at see the end, the end of the show. tuned. To watch what you can watch at the beginning next Next week. episode. Because it will also be a better one because you suck ass. Yes, I do. And when I edit, it's going to look good. But oh. I need people to know that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Many clips cut together. <laughs> nice. This is correct. And if you smoke a bowl of meth, it will cure your ED because ED's cap, according to Annie. <laughs> Did we watch that on the podcast or was that before? What? The fucking four dude. strokes? Yeah. And how you can carry to you smoke a meth? Oh yeah, that was before, yeah. It was definitely before. <laughs> what are you guys watching? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> just had to say something. You guys just had to lead it on. <laughs> Talking all in hieroglyphic <laughs> shit over here. <laughs> well, I'm very good at this. <laughs> You're intentionally wanting to watch it again. That's what's going on. I kind of do. I want to see your reaction. 
And the people out there, I'm not going to give you a reaction. reaction. Nope. Straight faced. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good start. <laughs> yes, yes. You got to get it out now. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Buy our merch. Get Do yourself it. a glass. LRGpodcast.com. Dot. Are you ready? <laughs> was it? Am I ready? There's a space. Are you ready? Yeah, here we go. I can't see shit. You're about to see shit. Oh, shit. Dr. Drew. Uh, oh, that dude. Uh, Dr. Drew, if you could let us know if this guy. Problems. I'm here to check any kind of erectile disorder problems. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. Forget about Viagra. Forget about salads. Forget about dick and plants and all that stuff. So, I don't know if you believe me or not. But if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick, it doesn't get hard any other way. And watch it get harder and harder. The more I smoke, the harder my dick gets. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 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 yes, dude. Yeah, it's called priapism. Oh. Usually that hurts. Usually it's a painful. Oh my god. Painful boner? Uh, th this guy loves it. Let's hear the rest. You're gay. You won't believe how good it feels. If you're straight, you won't believe how good it feels. Your dickhead becomes so sensitive that you don't need lube, you don't need spit. You just stroke that dickhead this up and down four times. Just, just barely do it. And you'll shoot an enormous amount of very thick, thick, hot, white stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys got some what's issues, with the, bro. What's with the viscosity of the cum? Yeah. So, uh... Wow. All right. Ooh, um, some pros out there. Yeah, okay, so what do they like? Do they like thick ones, I don't have to, you have to, uh, you'll have to put a... <laughs> wow. It's terrible. Yeah, so. You and know, if, you don't, so if you don't believe him, his brother didn't believe him either, and he smoked some meth with his brother, and he couldn't believe how big his dick got. <laughs> and how, how, Is how that why I meant that? That's the way they was. are? They're just walking around raging. <laughs> Dude, all I can imagine is sitting there hitting the fucking... They're all rooted out, but it's just their dick, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> just Everywhere there. they're going, they're just coming. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's why they're breaking shit all the time and just going crazy in the streets. Their dicks, they're just... <laughs> Rubs against her leg. Oh! <laughs> Sit there hitting Rockets the fucking bubble and it's like one puff, two puff, three puff. <laughs> <laughs> Just inhale, in inflating it with every hit. <laughs> one more for good measure. <laughs> Oh, Karen's gonna be fucking stoked tonight. <laughs> Four strokes oh, later. <laughs> you ready for those <laughs> thick white robes, baby? <laughs> they call me Spider Man. <laughs> I shoot webs out of my dick. <laughs> Oh, uh, so bad. Uh, so bad. Uh, refueling. Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> That's four strokes. Easy as four strokes. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, oh, that's dude. fucking horrible. That's so bad. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? Rated TV MA. <laughs> Oh, shit. Dude, I'm surprised at some of the shit that rating gets you. Like, you get away with some shit in TVMA. Are you guys ready? It's bad. This is mine. Like, you think all kids are. Oh, this is fucking. <laughs> Don't let go. This is fucking. Scary movie? Yeah. I love her, dude. She's one of the best actors ever. Right? It's oh my god. I fucking oh love that movie. Oh my god, dude. dude. Just like the second one, too, where she gets launched <laughs> to the ceiling. Two. That was the second one. <laughs> oh, shit. The first one's the one where she gets launched well, to the ceiling. The first one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude.
Shotgun blasted. <laughs> uh, speaking of. Oh, no. What do you mean, speaking of? <laughs> yeah, wait, what? There it is, yeah. Just like that. God damn. What's my name? <laughs> the trim in the hedge. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, Fucking shorty. Who's is it, Bobby? You got a little skeleton. <laughs> That's so fucked. I've never seen that as a kid and dying of laughter. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I fucking Holy fuck. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. after all these years. Oh my god. Dude, those movies were it's the still. best. I'm so good. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yes, Bob. Pure gold. <laughs> <laughs> it shrinks up like a <laughs> Jesus. Uh, used to have a little buddy in uh, middle school. That was his nickname, was Shorty. Because his dad was a single dad that had his kids for most of the time. And so he was just like a, kind of like a little troublemaker kind of kid to begin with. And he's seen that movie a thousand times. And he would just impersonate Shorty at school all the time everywhere. And so everybody just started calling him that. And no one had seen that movie before because kids our age aren't supposed to be seeing shit like that. Right. And so that was his nickname. And then I eventually saw it. And I was like, that's why they call him Shorty. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yeah. That's great. I wonder what happened oh, to that kid. Yeah. That's basically what Tally is, is Shorty. Tally is the cartoon version of Shorty. Yeah. Yeah. I have just broken the Matrix. That. The Matrix is broken. All right, so let's get into this part. Segment that you will get towards the beginning of the show. Next show. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> is Not this again the sequel? This is your fucking. This is yours. Yeah, oh. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> <Promoted> <laughs> it, it was a good name. It was a good name. What was the name? Wimplos. No, it something with, with Wimplo. News by news oh, now. News you need to know with oh, Wimplo. Yeah. You, news you need to know with Wimplo. All right, welcome to News to Know with Wimplo. First, we're going to start with condolences to the five families who tragically lost their loved ones on that little submarine going down to the Titanic is a very unfortunate loss, but at the same time, it kind of shows you that innovation and drive is still, you know, thriving here in the world. And as much bullshit as is on Twitter and everything with people making fun of this, you know, unfortunately, they're not mature to recognize that those are the people who got us to the moon back in the 60s. And those are the people who, like Robert Ballard, came and found the Titanic and allowed us to be able to view the history that happened there. So, again, to the families, we wish thoughts and prayers, obviously. But we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, some pretty cool news, but also at the same time some, you know, a little bit uh, quirky. I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think it's something to sound alarms over, but this is, you know, something I'm going to put some retrospect to my own opinion into. But Elon Musk's newest hire at SpaceX is a uh, child prodigy who... He uh, is 14 years old. Sorry, I had to double check there. He started college at nine, and now he's gonna be going at SpaceX and doing software programming for Elon, which is, you know, it's really cool that that kid's able to do that. My thoughts on it personally, though, is there's still an immaturity at that age just due to lack of life lessons, unfortunately, and I do, kind of look forward to seeing how that will work with him in that field. Perhaps he's as mature as he is intelligent, that is the hope, but at the end of the day, he's still a kid and his balls probably just dropped. So anyway, congratulations to that kid. His last name's uh, Quasi or Quasi. I, I don't know if I'm not enunciating, enunciating that right, then I apologize. 
Speaking of kids, so New York City had a parade for Pride, and uh, the chant of the particular Pride parade this one was, was, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. Obviously, I believe that someone think that that, you know, is something funny because there is so much con legitimate concern being raised, especially on the right and center right, about the fact that these things are being introduced to our children, both in schools and outside of schools now. And there is an unusual amount of pushback when laws are being established to keep children away from this stuff. Not necessarily adults who are capable of their decisions, paying their taxes, but children who are vulnerable and need guidance in the right way. You know, enough said on that. It was a bad decision. You know, I think that was rather tasteless and that, of course, that was uh, supported by the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence or whatever that anti-Catholic group is. and. You know, it, again, it's rather tasteless. I think I understand what they're going for, you know, because we don't always have to take our views to the extremes. You know, just because I'm conservative doesn't mean that everything is black and white. There's a lot of gray area, and there's also a lot of area for people to look and try and actually analyze what's going on and not take everything so seriously. Sometimes you just got to realize someone was cracking a joke and being ignorant but still in bad taste. Moving on. Uh, so the Wagner group, they uh, had a bout with China, or I'm sorry, Russia. And uh, somehow Russian forces seemed to strike at a camp that the Wagner group was staying at, killing a lot of their soldiers. And the leader vowed vengeance on Putin, but it looks like Belarus stepped in and some negotiations happen, so now the leader's gonna go to Belarus and Putin's gonna keep doing his thing. But China decided to let everybody know that they still support Russia, despite, you know, the little mutiny that happened. But that's something to be concerned with people. That's, that's two big nuclear powers that are not for the U.S. that are trying to dominate as much as they possibly can, and they're teaming up, and yet we're still funding a war that has nothing to do with us. Just something to think about. Maybe we should be saving resources, and uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, preparing for in case they team up because they're going to outnumber us. And although our technology and equipment's going to be superior, numbers do matter. That's all we have on that particular issue today. And we're going to close this off with the Durham report that, I'm sorry, not the Durham report, the report that Durham was at Congress explaining and being questioned about. Um, you know, I think Durham did a very good job of not having biases one way or the other. He kind of came in and gave the facts. He does seem to lean a little bit more on our side, which I'm not going to complain about. but. Some of the people that were questioning him just absolutely asinine. In particular, uh, that would be Steve Cohen of Tennessee. He decided to end a little line of questioning. You know, pretty much the whole line of questioning was about him. He's covering for Trump. This is, do you like Trump as a person? And he said, my biases have nothing to do with this report. This is what I'm doing, is reporting on the facts that I'm given and able to find. Um, so at the end of it, Mr. Cohen decided to let Durham know I really felt. And his concern, this is quote, my concern about my, uh, I'm sorry, that was the response. Um, Cohen was pretty much saying along the lines that Durham found nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, here we are. You had a good reputation, Cohen said, but the longer you hold on to Mr. Barr, your reputation will be damaged, as everybody's reputation who gets involved with Donald Trump is damaged. He is damaged goods. There's no dealing with them because you will end up at the bottom of a pyre. A pyre is a kind of a kind of like a kiln. Like, that's just another word for that. It's a fiery circle, usually laden with bricks. But um, in response, and this was 
beautiful by Mr. Durham. He said, my concern about my reputation is with the people who I respect. Kind of go out on a limb and guess that's not Mr. Cohen. And my family. And my lord. And I am perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. Which Jim Jordan thought was pretty good. You hear a little chuckle. And people, go on to Forbes Breaking News YouTube channel, or you can go on to Fox or Aram sometimes, but watch these house committees. Like, they are live streamed. This is your tax dollars. This is how they work. This is how you understand the system. And I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, as divided as everybody is right now, it makes for some damn good entertainment. They like to argue back and forth with each other, you know. You can pretty much tell who knows what they're talking about and who's just baiting people with their stupid things, be it race, be it equity, be it, you know, your sexual preferences or sexual identity. Like, they all they seem to do is bait. The facts are never on their side. And I highly encourage you to go and watch any kind of House committee hearings or House hearings, Senate hearings that you can. And with that, this has been the first edition of News to Know with Wimplo. <laughs> All right. We hope you enjoyed that. You'll be getting these news with Wimplo segments every week. Tune in for that. They'll also be shorts. Make sure you watch them, share with your friends. It'll be great. He needs to get a suit and uh It will be significant. It will. Oh. Well, well, let's go to oh. we'll get you a suit at Ross. What did I do Dress with my it's... tux shirt? That'd be perfect. Mm. My tuxedo shirt. Oh, mm -hmm. I have mine. It's too big for you, but it's got to be at my house somewhere. Perfect. Yeah, it will work. It will. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we are uh, we're an hour and twenty seven minutes in, boys. Ooh, this was a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Shorts. Time for shorts. Time for shorts. We're out, boys. <laughs> <laughs>